And then it opens the door to whatever we want to say. I actually hit start recording after you said all that. Now we don't have any buzzwords. You How can, are we gonna get people to watch us? Well, you're, you can keep saying buzzwords. All right, Donald Trump. No. Crypto, crypto coin. <laughs> <laughs> if you like crypto startups and Donald Trump, subscribe to the channel. You know, it's a good thing that you're in my ears right now because if my phone heard that, my my Instagram ads <laughs> would be fucked. <laughs> What's trending? Are well, we old? What's I mean, trending on there's like the internet? Gen Alpha slang is like all over the place now, right? S oh yeah. Sigma Giat, Rizzler. No, I think those are Phantom those are... Attacks. But those aren't like trending. Those are just like current. current are they not? That's like popular on the internet, right? Well, I think they're trending to me because I'm always behind the times. So like, whatever's big usually gets to me a couple months later. All right. How about double chip chocolate chunk? <laughs> is that is that? A... That's the Costco guys. Uh, oh, the Costco, Costco guys? guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You strike me as like a meat canyon guy. I think I've only seen the original. You really strike me as like a Five Nights at Freddy know the lore guy. You can't reveal that to to the audience. <laughs> that's cut, a, that's cut, a secret. Cut. No, you know. Okay, you know what? Let the, here, here we can we can get into the lore. The, the rage cage lore. Uh, I know way too much about Five Nights at Freddy's. I played maybe, maybe, ten minutes of the first game, and that's it. I've never played any other Five Nights at Freddy's game for any amount of time. But I know the whole lore because I watched a game theory video one time, and then like, <laughs> once I start like a a plot or story or something like a TV show, like once I start it, I can't stop. I have to see it through to the end. And it just kept fucking going. There's so many fucking game theory videos. And I've seen them all. I, I feel even... like that's a huge asset in today's culture, like to connect with kids. Like if you're ever like find yourself as like a teacher for youth, you could be like, I know Five Nights at Freddy's. And I feel like like you gain serious rapport with the new generation for understanding stuff like that. I don't know if I want them to know that I know all of that though. Like. Sometimes it's fun to be like the cool the cool uncle who knows stuff about random things like that they found on the internet. But like is is Five Nights at Freddy's like like ooh I know I know who Purple Guy is. <laughs> is there an actual guy called Purple Guy? Well, that's what they called him in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. They introduced <laughs> the villain and he was just like a purple like he, yeah, have you ever seen those like Atari mini games that they do in the game? I haven't. Uh, it's you like, want to know why? Because I'm a well-adjusted adult. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so it's like, between nights when you die... By the way, we're in Bubble Gloop Swamp because I was going through some old footage and uh, I forgot a collectible in here. So I had no to go way, back. what did we forget? Uh, it was a, a honeycomb like health, health uh, boost thing. The 100% speedrunners who watch this video are super disappointed in us, and they've been waiting for this episode for us to finally remedy this. Yeah, action. we're final. It's we're finally giving payoff to that old plot hole. So, anyways, back to the Five Nights at Freddy stuff that everyone was really excited about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes when you die, uh, there's like a little mini game that plays that like really cryptically shows the lore, but with like these like Atari 2600 style graphics and really like creepy unsettling sounds and no music and uh it's the only time that like five nights at freddy's actually felt genuinely like scary to me it was like watching these these like i like they they did horror so much better in this style than they did in like the actual gameplay in my opinion uh, interesting but or it's it's weird how they how they they're a game and they're well adapted and loved by like youth and the newer generations of gamers and content and culture enjoyers. But, like, they had elements of horror that, like, adults genuinely found, like, kind of creepy and and actually contained, like, strong horror elements, and that's pretty cool. It's actually a, a big problem, <laughs> in a way. Uh, but, like, like the, the series has remedied it by understanding in later entries that their primary audience is children. And, like toning it way down but for the first few entries when it was mostly like t edgy teenagers who are like mature enough to see this type of content um so 
Did the did the money did the bag kill the horror in Five Nights at Freddy's? I think everyone would agree that yes, it did, <laughs> for sure. Uh, for what whatever was there, um, it was. Let's see. What am, what am I? What's the point I'm trying to make here? At first, like th part of the point of it was that it was supposed to be the type of childlike wonder that you would get, but like it, like it tapping into the. The childlike wonder of things like Chuck E. Cheese, like these anim animated uh, animatronics and stuff in the restaurants, but like the creepiness factor of them, because there is an inherent creepiness factor. Poop Boggy. Poop Boggy. I had missed him. Now we'll actually save him this time, because we're in Freezy Peak for real. I wonder how he's been these last couple of months since, uh, since the last time we were uh, in Freezy Peak. Waiting patiently, I'm sure. Yeah, I guess. His inability to walk has, has saved him in this instance. Oops. Uh, so the problem with, with tapping into that type of horror, like, things that look nostalgic and recognizable to, to children, like people who grew up with Chuck E. Cheese, recognize the, uh, the animatronics and how they felt a little bit unsettled by them for the most part, and then just, like, leaning into that creepiness. Uh, the unfortunate side effect of that is that you know, kids like the Chuck E. Cheese animatronics, and so they like the Five Nights at Freddy's ones, too. <laughs> like, the ones that are supposed to be evil and bad, and you learn later they are possessed by the b bodies of dead children. So it kind of goes both ways. Like, they just, they, they remember the animatronics fondly, and now it doesn't matter what type of lore you have. It's just a fun little animatronic, which I guess is the best way to, yeah. to really dismantle yeah. something scary like that. It's, and it's also it, it's it's kind of interesting in that way because the kids who like Five Nights at Freddy's now did not grow up with animatronics. They are too young for there to have ever been animatronics that they cared about. Like maybe they went to Disney World, but like they certainly not. Chuck E. Cheese, as far as I know, doesn't still push the animatronics like a real thing. Maybe, but are there even still Chuck E. Cheeses? There are still Chuck E. Cheeses. Wow. Uh, I haven't been in one in a we long time, them. but I thought the animatronics were gone. Absolutely. Maybe they would lean into it. Maybe Chuck E. Cheese's would start throwing in some scary ones to capitalize on that. Chuck E. Cheese, uh, Chuck Cheese, if you're listening right now, you can take this idea. Just make sure you give us credit. I don't know. I, it might be a smart business move by old Chuck to, to avoid that, given they want to remain family-friendly as possible. Yeah. I mean... If they're looking for family friendly and you know modern adaptations to the world, they could start their own crypto coin. They could. They already had a physical non cryptographical coin in the form of they arcade have, tokens. They did have tokens. And not just tokens, they had two currencies. They had tokens and they had the tickets. I wish you could mint them, except instead of an NFT it would be an NF cheese. I don't even know how to respond to that. Wait, the security guards are coming to take me out? No, no! <laughs> Alright, I'm on my own now. <laughs> this is just a... This is just a, another one of my side channels now. Yeah, this is now Rage and... <laughs> <laughs> you have been taken to jail. <laughs> okay. So, in the time since we've last recorded, uh, and this goes out to the, to the viewers listening... Cool you would like some life-changing advice here i made a purchase and maybe the next topic we go here is life-changing purchases because truly this purchase has substantially increased my quality of life and i would like to share so if you have ever had a job if you've ever been thirsty then you might relate to this but sometimes in life you get thirsty and especially if you work from home or you're in the office and you can't exactly or don't want to. How did you get up here? I missed a beak bomb is what happened. I see, I see. You might be like, oh my god, what a save. I, I, had to get, I got distracted. I, I thought it was... it was over. So you're thirsty, you're in the workplace, you're at home, you're gaming, okay, you're degening, and you don't want to go down and go to the fridge, get a cup, fill your drink, or maybe you don't want to contribute to the growing crisis of garbage impact on climate change i know this so, feeling all too well perfect 
Well, I have for you buying your own jungle juice dispenser. It cost me like 20 bucks on Amazon, 1.2 gallons. Has a little spigot on it to dispense the juice and just make your own juice. I bought lemon, limes, a couple different juice bases, some Gatorade powder, some carbonated water or Sprite could work. Put it all in there if you're if you're an adult of drinking age, put a little alcohol in there and you can just make your own juice. And I just like I would put a bunch of ice cubes in it, make it in the morning, cool it down, put it in my room. Boom, once you're thirsty, a cup of your own juice. So it drinking stay your in the own fridge. juice. Well, it didn't stay in the fridge after I put the ice in there, but like if you don't finish it or if you want to keep it in the fridge, you absolutely could. And I feel like you can cater like a juice to be much more to your tastes and you can buy like a bunch of different sizes. Did you get it? Oh, I thought <laughs> I managed to <laughs> save myself. Really... I yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm not playing very well. It's been a while. No, I, it was still thrilling. You did it for the thrill of the game. It's true. But honestly, having my own little juice container has been awesome. And I use like a whole bunch of zero sugar ingredients. And I'm like, this is fantastic. It's kind of like a kind of like a soda stream a little bit. Soda stream was pretty yeah, life changing. Yeah. Once I found out that you could buy like the actual syrups that make it taste like the drinks you want and then you can just like not put as much in because that's kind of always the problem with like a can of pop I've, I've been i've been sick for a while and i haven't been able to drink like carbonated drinks and recently uh i did have like a half of a ginger ale and like damn strong very strong uh it was it was very surprising to me as someone who hasn't had pop in a long time how strong it is coming right out the can wow do you think that that's like that's gonna forever change now like are you kind of you've kicked any need for soda because it's been so long i don't know i wouldn't i wouldn't go that far because i still like the carbonation but i still like carbonation the call of the void and i yeah there is always the call of the void do it the void it. being coca-cola <laughs> I was thinking jumping off the cliff as Banjo. Oh, I can jump off the cliff. <laughs> Should I do it but safely or... Sometimes there are little blessings we have in life. <laughs> the things we haven't had to experience that we don't... Uh, we're not grateful enough for. Like having 800 pounds of poop dropped on your head. Yeah. Or listening to a Dave Matthews Band album. That's arguably worse. <laughs>